Hey guys, so I have on the same outfit because it's the same day. Um, I've been thinking about this topic for a very, very long time and now that this chapter of my life is coming to an end, I thought I would share my whole experience with you guys because it is definitely something to think about. So, um, from the title, you know we're going to be talking about Depo today. If you don't know what Depo is, it is a form of birth control in a shot. Uh, the name is Depo Provera or Prevera. And, um, yeah, where do I start? Whew. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> so, I've been on Depo for a very, very long time. Um, I started in, I believe, the summertime of 2010. And um, I was actually on the pill, but I was not good with taking the pill. I would sometimes make myself sick because I would forget one day, so the next day I would take like two at the same time, and that just wasn't good for anybody so I was like okay what can I do that's kind of low maintenance um, but still get the job done uh, I don't have any children so the IUD was definitely not an option because that was not going in there and <laughs> I got a whole nother story about that experience because I actually did try to get that afterwards so if you want to hear about that let me know down below um, I was too scared to get the implanine, the thing in your arm. I didn't want to do the nouveau ring, none of that stuff. So at the time, the shot just seemed a, like a no-brainer for me. Um, my cycle and everything, as I remember it, because I have not had it for a very long time, um, but it was pretty severe, like the first two days. And then after that, it would get really light, and it was pretty fine. But the first two days were killer. Like, oh my gosh, I, I just don't even want to think about it because it's going to be coming back soon. <laughs> but, so, um, let's see. I started getting the shot, and it lasts for three months. So, um, they give you, like, a little mail card, and they send it out so you know when you have to, you know, stay in that window to get your shot. If you miss that window, then you pretty much have to start all over again. So, I was really consistent on, you know, getting my shot before it was, um, the date was over and everything. Now, in the beginning, it was hell. Like, in the beginning, it was so terrible because, like, I had my cycle for, like, a whole month. Like just crazy like bleeding for a very long time and that's what she told me in the beginning you know because your body is pretty much getting I guess not getting rid of but you're not gonna have a cycle after a while so I guess it was just kind of cleansing out my system and sometimes I would bleed just out of nowhere um, so I always had to kind of wear like a panty liner or something like that because out of nowhere it was just be blood I'm like what like <sighs> it was so annoying like and then sometimes I would bleed for like a whole month and it was it was just not the business so in the beginning I really didn't like that part of it um and after like I would say a year <laughs> to be honest for my body I don't know how it is for anybody else but I would say after a year of that on and off um that's when my cycle was completely gone so after that I was like okay we good and the only thing that would happen around the time when it was time for me to get my shot was um I would start cramping up a little bit and that was pretty much it no spotting no nothing um now I want to say maybe after the first year is when I really started to notice the weight gain <sighs> y'all the weight gain is so real I'm not even lying to you like if you guys watch my weight gain story the Birth control was a big factor in that, and I will say that 100%. Before I started getting on, you know, the depo, I think I was around like 125, and I'm 5'6", so that was really skinny. Um, I'll find some pictures and insert it, and you can also check out that video if you kind of want to see, like, how skinny I was to how I look now. Like, y'all, <laughs> I do not like my weight. Like, I've always wanted to gain weight. So now I kind of feel like I didn't stuck my foot in my mouth because it's like now I feel like I'm big. Like I really don't like some of the parts of my body. 
and it's because of the depot so I want to say from then till now I have gained about 60 something pounds and that is a shitload of weight like a lot my highest was about 180 something <laughs> and when I saw like that 180 number I don't remember what the ending number I like 185 or something like that when I seen that on a scale I was like okay something has to change like this is getting ridiculous like I don't want to get up to 200 pounds like I, I just don't so gradually the weight started coming on and I didn't notice it at first and you really don't like it's a few pounds here a few pounds there and especially when you're really skinny all your life and all you want to do is gain weight when those first few pounds started coming on I wasn't like upset about it I was like yes like I got some hips I got some booty like you know I was good but then when my arms and my double chin and my stomach start coming then I was like uh hell no like what is going on so when I got to around like 160, that's when I started noticing like, damn, I'm looking big, like, whoa. But I don't know how I allowed myself to get up to 180 something, but that is when I really started making a change. So I have changed my diet a lot. Um, I'm kind of trying to go pescatarian and I can talk about that too if you guys want to hear a video about that. Um, and so now I'm back down to about 167. I still want to lose a little bit more and I feel like like the low 60s high 50s would be a good weight for me but I will never be back up to 180 again like I just can't do that to myself um now other side effects like I noticed I love to sleep anyway but just that fatigue like feeling so tired like I could like not even do anything and feel like damn like I'm tired as shit like and I don't know why so definitely like the fatigue and being tired is a big side effect one of the biggest side effects is my mood like I did not really notice it until I started doing research and seeing other videos like this but that has opened my eyes to why I like was really acting crazy like really acting crazy crying for no reason being so angry like going from zero to a hundred like nobody's business y'all honestly that depo is gonna make you a fucking psycho like I'm not even kidding you I don't know how it is for everybody for, but from a lot of reviews a lot of women are saying the same thing so it has to be it like it has to be I don't know what else it has to be like I was not like that before like okay girls get emotional they get upset about things but no this is on a whole nother level and it's like you can't control it like if you don't want to be mad anymore but you still like raging for some reason you know a big big part that was kind of really scary to me also was just like your thoughts like especially because your emotions are out of whack and your thoughts can go crazy like for a while, I would be thinking about death sometimes for no reason, like, just thinking, you know, I don't want to die, I don't want my family to die, like, what I want to do, like, it, the, the thoughts were just really, really dark, and I wouldn't want anybody to kind of experience some of these things that I have experienced on this depo shot, like, I do think it was a contributor to some of the issues I had in my relationship and now like looking back on it and it's just not fun at all. I wouldn't recommend it. You know along with the anger and the high emotions I also was very very nervous a lot and nervous about certain things that I never was nervous about before and I couldn't really understand why. It was like I was always thinking like about death with stuff so like before I wouldn't really be like that nervous about driving fast in cars and just having fun and being crazy and it's like now it's like when my boyfriend is driving I'm like holding on to the door and I'm like so nervous I'm thinking we're gonna get into an accident and your mind just really goes to places where and it's like you don't even know why nervousness like 
really took over a lot of things and when I get nervous I get like really hot and just out of nowhere just start feeling sweaty and it's like you can't control it like ugh, you cannot control it and I don't want to feel like that anymore I really don't like I'm really really happy that I'm about to get off of this and get it out of my system and I would love to see like how long it takes for me to really like start being back to normal. So if you guys want a follow up video, you know, in a few months or so, let me know. I would gladly make that video. I want to see if I have lost any weight, if I got a lot of my energy back, um, if my mood swings have subsided. So um, feel free to let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing that. So that was that. The tiredness, the weight gain for sure, and the mood swings. And I want to touch on this topic too because a lot of the reviews and stuff that I have seen didn't really mention this, but it is the truth. And your sex drive will be gone. When I say gone, just it's, it's, it's in the universe somewhere. It's gone. Like, I don't know. And this can really cause problems in your relationship if you are not with someone that is secure enough to understand what you're going through. I've been with my partner for nine years now. Me and him met in 2008. So, um, you know, I really had to stress to him, like, it's, I believe it really is the birth control. Like, it's not you. It really is the birth control. And I definitely took notice to this maybe like two years in. I started really realizing that I had no desire anymore like it was like forceful to really have that desire unless I had you know some drinks that was pretty much the only time where it really came naturally um, so that is a big thing to consider I know you know sex is not everything but it is part of your relationship so it is a big thing to consider <sighs> let me see what else now, I didn't really experience the hair loss. I have a lot of hair, so I, you know, I think I would really notice if my hair was shedding excessively, but I do notice a like some withdrawals in my hair. And you guys know that I've talked about that a few times where it seems like my hair is at a standstill. Sometimes it seems like it's growing a lot and then sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if that's because of the depot or not, but like excessive hair loss, I can't say that I've experienced. Also, I cannot say I have experienced um, like my hormonal breakouts because of that. I never really had clear skin to begin with, so I really don't know if it's because of the depo, but that can be a side effect to look out for. Now, um, I didn't mention before I really started going into depth, but ugh, I just had some pieces, so sorry. <laughs> so, um... You can get the shot in three places now. At first it was only two. It was your arm or your butt, right at the top of your butt. And now you can get it in your hips. So right in the front, like where those V's are, if you have them. Because <laughs> I don't got them no more because it's fat right there. But um, you get it right there. Now it does kind of sting a little bit when it goes in. And then after, um, if you like press on it, it'll feel like a bruise. I kind of have a little pain, but it's not really that unbearable. It's not uncomfortable. Um, if you don't like needles, just kind of look away and it's, it's over in like five seconds. Um, now in my relationship, like I said, I have been with him for nine years so at this point right now um, we have decided to get off of the birth control so this is my last one it'll kind of be out of my system at the end of this month and yeah so I just I, I wouldn't recommend it y'all like I wish I would have done way more research on it before I actually decided to do it and for this long but the good thing about it is um, my body seems to uh, bounce back really quickly. There was a time where I took a break from it. Um, I want to say maybe after, maybe in 2014, I think it was, I got off of it and I wanted to go back on the pill just to see, um, you know, if my body could bounce back quickly. And I got my cycle back after a week. Cramps, 
everything it was like a, it was never in my system at all so I know that my body can bounce back from this and I won't have any like fertility issues and things like that which is what I had a big concern about um, so that is something also you want to look into if you are going to still get on this form of birth control do not do it for a long time like I wouldn't recommend it because it's really going to change you in so many ways that you won't even be aware of like it's not something where one day you'll just be like oh I know why I'm doing this because of the like no you'll just start to become this person that you don't even know how you got there and I don't know who likes to be overweight, but you'll be overweight, you'll be moody, you'll be sleepy, you'll be, it's just, ugh, ugh, no. Did it do the job? Yes. But are there better ways out there? Yes. So I just wanted to kind of share my little piece about this and help anybody else out there who was kind of researching this topic or just wanted to know. Um, definitely always do your research online consult your doctor and really honestly ask them what is the best um you know form of contraception that you should be taking so um yeah this was you know different but i just wanted to come on here and kind of do a personal chit chat video with you guys and let you guys into my life a little bit so like i said if you are interested in any of those other videos that i kind of mentioned and you want to hear a little bit more about it like my diet now going pescatarian i'm trying to get a um iud and all of that crazy stuff then let me know and i'll see you guys real soon bye